isn't it so centrally? Were you just doing the melody the levels of Benny Splendor? Oh, good grief. Hey, welcome back. Wow. This is our stupid reactions, where you get your stupidity in full doses. Uh, Every day. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram and more Twitter. Juicy content. It's so Ooh. juicy. Yes. So, so Patreon, Touch. follow us first. Twitter account, ring the bell, we'll be the notification squad. Bang! Also, Rick has a personal YouTube channel. So do I. Follow yep. them. The links are below. Yep. There's different stuff. There's juicy stuff over there, too. Today, we are reacting to a festival. Cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since we've done that. Well, also because, you know, people aren't doing festivals right now. And also, we've gone full circle in terms of we've been doing this for over a year. So we and reacted to a lot of the trailers last, I'm um, a lot of the festivals last year. Uh, True. But this is called Thirisu Purim. Amazing Temple Festival of Kerala. This is an annual Hindu festival held in Kerala, India. It is held at uh, some long name. A uh, temple in Thrissur. Every year on the Purum day, the day when the moon rises with the Purum star in the... Oh, God, there's so many weird words in this. Uh, Malayam calendar month of Medium. It is the largest and most famous of all Purithiums. I'm saying that totally wrong, and I'm sorry, guys. This event marks Kerala's culture of diversity, in, and it's annually attended by thousands of people uh, for the cultural capital of the state, Thrissur's Day, in advance, and leave only after the spectacle is over. Uh, for the first time in 58 years, this has been canceled due to mm. coronavirus. Sorry, guys. That sucks. Don't be. That made up for all of the times you uh, haven't Corbinized for the past six months. <laughs> that, so. that whole paragraph was Corbinized. Uh, yeah. So, so I hope you enjoyed that. All right, you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. literally means a congregation. Folklore has it that every year the deities of the neighboring hamlets meet at the Vadakum Nada temple. On that day, the heavenly hosts bring the heavens down on earth drowning the land and the skies in joyful tumult. Ten temples participate in Thrissur Puram, held in Thrissur, a small town in the northern part of Kerala. For the town of Thrissur, the sleepless nights start even before the Puram. Wow! Fairs and exhibitions lend a touch of extra glitter to the ever so mesmerizing Puram colors. 
The enchanting elephant decor exhibition is a rare one of its kind and draws hordes of visitors every year. The dawn of Puram Day. This is the Tiruvambadi Temple. At seven in the morning, a sub-deity, Goddess Yogamaya Devi, starts her journey to the Vadakam Nada Temple. Eight other deities from various temples in the surroundings also set out to the Vadakam Nada Temple. <laughs> The final confluence of all the mini Purams from each temple becomes a virtual feast for the eyes and a symphony celestial for the years. Can you, you feel that? The procession from the Thiruvambadi <laughs> temple stops at the Brahma Swam Madam for certain rituals. a lot of people. From there, the procession moves on to the Vadakum Nada temple with the accompaniment of Panjavadyam, a traditional orchestra. <coughs> this is the Paramekava temple. By noon, the goddess of this temple sets out to the Vadakam Nada temple. Once the goddess comes out, the Kudamartam, or the changing of umbrellas, decked with finery, commences in front wow. of the Parame Kava temple. The Ilangitara Melam is one of the central attractions of the Puram. Here the orchestra is performed under an Ilangi tree. It welcomes Goddess Paramekava Bhagavadi on her annual visit to Vadakam Nada Temple. From the southern Gopuram, the procession from Paramekava emerges followed by the one from Thiruvambadi. This is known as Thekotirikam. The latter takes up position on the Gopuram side while the former is stationed on the opposite end of the Puram ground. The most captivating sight of the Puram is the competition of changing the display of decorative umbrellas. Huh. The intricately crafted decorative umbrellas lend the evening its rainbow hues. The night wow. is approaching and the Puram compound is sleepless. The Puram celebrations that begin in the morning 
continues until the noon of the next day. Dang! Indians like to party, man. A bewitching fireworks show marks the, the grand day. finale of the Puram and is a fitting tribute to its sublime harmony of sight and sound. The Pagal Puram, a recap of the highlights and hallmarks of Puram Day on the day after. Man, keep going. No joke. What took place the previous day in enigmatic twilight can now be enjoyed in broad daylight. The goddesses bid adieu and begin the journey back to their abodes. Oh, All that. who bore witness to the festive ceremonies join together to share a humble ritualistic meal, the Pura Kanyi. Using the a curtain falls, a leaf as a spoon? and they wait, a leaf as a spoon, mortals yeah. and Dang. immortals alike, for another joyful year and the promise <clears throat> of another sumptuous Puran. Dang. I, so I found most, a lot, not all, uh, but most of the festivals that we've reacted to has something to do with a god either being oh, yeah. uh, received or sending it off. Yes. But, well, both, or both. There's always just the arrival of the deity, and then and then the departure of the deity, either the next day or several days later. Yeah, it's a huge element in the majority of the festivals we've seen. At least, I guess, in the ones in the Hindu religion. Uh, yes, those, those festivals are, are, are yeah. like that, which is super super interesting. Now, yeah, those I could. I'm sad that they canceled it, obviously, because you know I'm sure there's thousands of people that go and celebrate this, but uh, that looked like yep. something that. During COVID nineteen, uh, I don't know how much <laughs> social distancing would be going on <laughs> Not during gonna those festivals. Uh, no. and I hope those elephants are treated well. I, you know, my view on using animals for things. I'm not saying they're not, but that's just I don't like using animals for things. But it was cool. It was definitely cool, especially the um, the. Do you? It has to go fast. Like, what do you do? Because it's so many hours. That's a lot of well, hours. I, and I'm guessing based on what they were saying is is the ones playing the instruments are playing those instruments all day and through the night until the following day. Like, do they go 36 hours playing those drums and those horns? And well, I, I bet the music's playing, but it's probably not the same person, you know, because they probably like, you know, because there's what, uh, 50 of them? You know, you, you have shifts maybe? <laughs> yeah. Because you got to pee. Like. <laughs> yeah. You gotta pee. <laughs> you gotta eat. Um, you gotta eat. Well, you uh, don't. You don't technically have to. You could go thirty-six hours without food, water, or a toilet. Yeah, but why would you? That's awful. I know it is. Especially living. I've in been Car to Kerala. Yeah, I've been to. I've been to the the one time did the uh, dropping of the the ball on New Year's Eve in Times Square with Ashley. Her her dream to do it, and I was like, "Honey, you know New Yorkers don't do this, right?" <laughs> we stay away from Times Square on New Year's Eve. She says, "Yeah, but I just want to do it." With it, people legit they show up at like seven, eight in the morning. The ones who want to get really close, and I'm not kidding. They're wearing depends because you cannot leave the boxes that you're it, the little areas, and they just do what they need to do right then and there. That's terrible. <laughs> and when it's over. The mass exodus, you can see this rush of humanity, thousands looking for the nearest bathroom. <laughs> Ugh, just guys, it's not worth it. I mean, come on. It's not, it really, 
I'm glad I had the experience with Ashley, especially right as the ball dropped and the confetti falls and you hear Frank Sinatra sing in New York, New York. That's a memory that I will always have in my mind. But no, yeah. uh, no. Yeah. And, but th I'm not saying this is equivalent. It's just the, the idea of having to be there for that long and not take a break is what reminded me of, of yeah. New Year's Eve. But dang, yeah, that was cool. Let us know uh, other festivals that we haven't reacted to yet or if it, we've reacted to them, like different videos that explains more or goes into it more because, uh, you know, that's an element that we like to learn about. And yeah, when we I come to India, whenever it is, when they allow us to travel, uh, I don't know when other countries are going to let Americans come out to... <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like you know before it was people like America saying no you can't come into our country everybody's gonna be like no we don't want Americans in terms yeah. of Max no. <laughs> you guys can, you guys can stay over there as far as we're concerned thanks <laughs> Dina, <laughs> Dina,